Hey, in this lecture, we're going to talk about flex direction column, because up until now, we've used the default way of laying out items, which is flex direction row, meaning that the flex container lays out items along the row, going from left to right. So now let's try flex direction column. As you can see, that changes the container so that it lays out the items going from top to bottom. And this again means that justify content no longer controls how the items are stacked across the horizontal line, but rather how they're stacked across the vertical line. And that's because the main axis now is vertical going from top to bottom and not horizontal going from left to right, which it was when we had flex direction row like that. Okay. So let's try and add justify content and set it to, for example, flex end. And that doesn't result in any change actually. So why is that? Well, it's because the height of the container is not set explicitly. It's just as tall as the content inside of it forces it to be, meaning that it has no extra space when it's trying to push all the content towards the flex end, which is the bottom of the container. What we have to do is explicitly set the height of the container to 100%. And there you can see, now the container takes up the entire window, or almost at least, and the justify content pushes all the content down to the bottom of the main axis. Now, just as a reminder, when using this height 100%, you also have to set the height of the HTML and the body to 100%. Okay, if we change the flex end to flex start, all the content will just be on top here. And that's also the default way of doing it, as you can see. We can also do center, and that will center it. Okay, let's now look at align items, which controls the layout in the cross axis, which now is horizontal, going from left to right. If we want to shove the items over to the right hand side, for example, we can do align items and do flex end. That'll push the item towards the end of the cross axis. As you might remember, by default, it's set to stretch, set to stretch. So they stretch themselves all the way from the start of the axis to the end of the axis. Let's also try flex start. And of course, we can do center. Now, I want to give you a little task. I want you to make the content appear in the bottom right corner here. So go ahead and pause the screencast. Do that, and when you come back, I'll show you the solution as well. Okay, so hopefully you paused the screencast and completed the task. Let's look at the solution. We want this chunk of items here to appear down in the bottom right corner. And let's first push it all the way over to the right. Then we'll need to target the cross axis, the align items, and change that to flex end, as this is the end of the cross axis, the horizontal one. Now we also need to place it in the end of the main axis, which now goes from top to bottom, meaning that we'll also set justify content to flex end. And there you go. In the next lecture, we're going to look at wrapping. So stay tuned, and I'll see you there.